Hey guys, Unif Essentials here. Welcome to the second part of the makeover series. The staircase in my client's home has carpet. And I have to say, I am not a fan. So that's gonna go away and replaced with stone. If you wanna go for a more conservative look, you can still replace the carpet with wood or laminate. And we are gonna be having lighting installed underneath the stones as well. I call this a DIY series because there are a couple of DIYs that I have done in this particular video that anyone can do in minutes. After the floor was done, we decided to paint the banisters in black and gold. But that's going to be seen later on in the video. Now moving on this side in the living room is this wall here. That was covered with wallpaper. Both walls at the top and at the bottom were covered with wallpaper. The wallpaper that's going to be at the bottom here is going to come with the sort of design in the middle. So I will be helping myself out by using tape to separate the top and the bottom part of where the wallpaper is going to be installed. The fireplace that came with the home looks dark and dingy, so that's going to be changed. We need this place to look bright. So this is going to be changed with stone, but something brighter. Like I mentioned earlier, the banisters are going to be painted with black and gold. And the bottom part here that has the orange wall is going to be covered with another type of 3D wallpaper. I'll be covering up this lovely covered with marble contact paper so that it would go with the floor and blend with the overall theme in the home. These are the walls leading to the kitchen that's going to be painted and covered with panelings and mirrors. These mirrors are from Ikea and I love them. They're super affordable and they make quite the statement when they're used in a home. These are quick and easy DIYs that anyone can do because all I'm doing here is applying construction adhesive to the mirrors and the panelings and attaching them to the wall. I got beautiful onlays online and I spray painted them gold and these are going to be attached at the top of my design. Moving on to one of my favorite rooms in the home, and that is the formal dining room. Now the walls were worked on. We put on wallpaper and accent wall and added wall sconces for extra lighting. Everything was looking really nice. And then I remembered they needed a seating area that's gonna make that dining room complete. The dining room already had provisions for sitting with storage. That is like a win-win. It made my job a lot easier because all I had to do was take wood and have foam attached to it because I already had a base. Now I'm going to go ahead and make marks for my tufts. I made holes at the points where I had marked earlier. And then all I did was to use a fabric that I got from Joanne Fabric, and this is black velvet. I just look at it where all the holes are and stapled on them. I finished off the look with crystal buttons, and these are going to be attached with a hot glue gun and super glue. When I was done with this section, I went to the bar section that's right next to the dining. The cabinet up was painted black and then I did a little bit of backsplash work there with a peel and stick. 
and then I decorated the cabinets with gold metallic tape. I also added this cool peel and stick gold element to my design. And guys, I know that this might seem a little bit confusing and overwhelming, but I want to make sure that you guys see exactly what was done to each wall. So I'm taking you guys through each room, wall by wall. Now this wall here is the dining wall that's in the kitchen. We already added a fireplace to it, so all I'm going to be doing now is working on the TV wall. I'll be decorating the wall with 3D panels and glitter wallpaper. I'll be highlighting a little bit of gold somewhere in the middle. It's time to accessorize! So we're going to start from the other wall that I made here. So this is a table. And the accessories is going to be on the table. And the overall look. Simple, but nice. And then moving on to the living room with the carpet and the coffee table and little knickknacks to bring everything together. For the TV unit, for those of you who haven't watched the video yet, the link is going to be down in the description box below. I have a beautiful gold niche all around this TV wall with glass shelves and I am putting little cute decor items inside the shelves that would actually complement the entire look of the TV wall. Now the dining room that's in the kitchen has its own unique corner with a rug and then a beautiful table and then I also have charger plates. These may look fancy for a kitchen dining but I do my due diligence to understand my clients and this is exactly what they want. And it also works with the decor theme in the home. I also added decor items to the cute cover that I covered with marble contact paper. In the formal dining room, I hung up wall arts. And on the extra seating that I made, I added throw pillows. The homeowners loved their dining set and wanted to keep it. So I'm gonna make it work, even though I'm not a fan of the brown, the wooden brown, but then it just has this antique look and that's what the client wanted. She wanted something with an antique look, but still infusing a lot of glam to it. So I'm gonna help her out to make sure that I bring out that glam look to merge seamlessly together with the antique look. I wanted to bring it in more antique to this dining room, so I did not stop here. I also worked on the ceiling. So up there, has given you an idea on how I was able to merge the antique and glam look together for this particular dining room. At the foyer, I added a beautiful rug and a table with gorgeous flowers sitting on it. I added lovely lightings here and the railings were painted gold and black and the walls that I started working on in gold were changed to 3D panels. If you are interested in a home makeover, just shoot me an email at yurofspaces at yahoo.com and I'll get back to you. Did you guys notice that there is a very important room in the home that is not in this video? Exactly. It is the kitchen. And I have to apologize again. I'm not used to bringing out videos that are 30 minutes long because I just feel it's going to be kind of boring if you want to sit through a 30 minutes makeover video but i will be sharing the kitchen the homeowners by the way are gonna have their reaction to the entire makeover in the next video so stay tuned thank you guys so much for watching i have other home decor diy videos that are linked in the description box below do check them out and for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel don't forget to click on the subscribe button